the GameStar. In a world where my GameStar HD finally finishes his tutorial on the Open Broadcaster Software Tutorial. From the creators of Part 1. Here is Part 2. I will now show you how to use Open Broadcaster Software with a plugin that's called Browser Source Plugin. This allows you to load web pages into Open Broadcaster Software. And I will demonstrate this by using ProTube. And ProTube is a online DJ tool where you can share a screen where the music is played and you have an admin area where you can select videos from YouTube to play. So let's get started. First, we need to, of course, download Open Broadcaster software. You can go to www.obsproject.com and hit the download button. Basic installation, nothing special. The second thing we need is a plugin. If we go to forum and we go down to plugins and we search for CLR browser source plugin. Hit that button. We can go to uh, overview. Scroll a little bit down. Here you see uh, that the latest version is here downloadable. 32 bit version. That's important. The 64 bit plugin is really unstable. So just uh, click the link. And we have to unzip it using. Uh, I'm using WinRAR, but you can use any kind. We get a folder and the file, and we need to copy that to our installation of OBS. Okay, we go to this folder here, installation, OBS plugins. We just drag the files, drop them there. And we'll uh, ask if it won't serve right, because I already installed it. And if you want to uh, place it here, because you need admin rights. There you go and it's installed. Most important thing now in this tutorial is that you need to have Google Chrome installed and you need to install Flash Player otherwise it will not work for uh, the tutorial I'm doing. Uh, just type in Google uh, Flash Player first link says uh, get Adobe Flash Player. It will probably say that uh, that the Chrome browser already has a built-in plugin, but that one we cannot use. So sorry for the Dutch website, but there is a link here which says that you can just download it and install it. It's a little button. And uh, make sure you uncheck this because you don't want McAfee. McAfee screws up your whole system and just go and click on the install button. Follow the instructions and then you have Flash Player. Very important. If you do not have it, this tutorial will not work. All right, everything is set up. We can now go and make a screen like this. This is what we want to create. Um, some tube and in there will be pro tube. Important is that when you start the application, you choose the 32 bit version, not the 64 bit version because the plugin only works for the 32 bit version. So go ahead and start it. And we start off with a clean open broadcaster screen. First, what I want to do is uh, go right away, preview stream, so we can see what we are doing. First important thing I want to do is change the settings of my OBS. So I will go to settings, settings. I will go to video and change the resolution because I rather stream in 720p. That saves bandwidth and not everyone uh, accepts 1080p at home. I will apply those, change, apply those changes and hit OK. Next thing I want to do is add a global source. So I will click global source, add, and I will add an image because I want to create a background first. So we call this background. I will go and select an image. We go for this image and hit OK and then OK. I will add it now to my scene. So I'll right click in the scenes, add, global sources and background. And there we have our background. Perfect. Our next step is to go to protube.be and hit the start using protube button. It will then generate two links. This can take a while. The links are generated. I will not go into much detail what protube does, 
The only thing to remember is that this is your admin area. You don't want to share this with anyone. And this is the screen that we'll be using to play the videos. So I'll copy this link. And drag it aside for a moment. I will now create another global source. Global source add CLR browser we're choosing this time. I will call this one Pro Tube. I will paste the link inside here in the URL. I will change the dimensions to my complete screen. So it's 1280 by 720. So I'll hit OK. And OK again. Right click, sources, add, and then global sources, and then the Pro Tube. And hit OK. If I click on edit scene, we'll see that it's loaded here. And if we wait for a while, it will be loaded and we have now a browser inside OBS. As mentioned earlier in my tutorial, you need to have Flash Player. If you do not have it, the screen here will not load and also the QR code will not be loaded. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's go back to ProTube. I will now hit on the private screen. Okay, we have the admin area now and I will search for a song to, for us to play. I will type in chip tune. A little bit down, let's see. This is a really good mix. Let's click that one. Immediately, you hear the sound going, <laughs> it's a little bit loud. The next thing that we want to do, we want to put something over on top of this. So, we go again, create a new global source. We'll add an image, and I will call this tube. I will browse for an image. I will share those images for you so you can use them. I will click on television and I will select this television, this one, and hit OK. OK again. I right click, add, global source, and then the tube. Hit OK. There we go. Nice big, big tube. So let's say we want to place it over here. We'll adjust it to the screen we want. Maybe we want a little bit bigger. A little bit smaller, actually. All right, and now we want to fit this one underneath it. Just snug it in there. Just drag it a little bit left and right. So it fits, fits nicely. This seems to be fine. All right, I will keep it like this. Okay, I have added some music to my uh, list. And other people can scan the QR code to add their own music if they like. And I will now demonstrate how we remove the little ugly edges there. So we'll right click on ProTube, hit Properties, go to CSS Style. And I'll replace it with my own CSS style. This code can be found in the description below. Together with all the uh, other images. I will hit OK. Page will reload. And now we have a nice clean looking television. Let me crank up the volume because it's a nice song. Alright! So this was a basic tutorial of how you can use the browser's plugin to make your own awesome screen. In this case, we have been using ProTube as an example. In the next episode, I will show you how you can create awesome clouds floating over your head. See you next time. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next episode.